Hey everyone, this is Dr. Retro and today I want to show you a quite rare handheld. This is the Sega Genesis Nomad, also known as the handheld Genesis. Because this uh, console or handheld is actually just a Genesis or a Mega Drive to play in your hand. So it's like carrying around a Super Nintendo but then the Sega style. So this one came out quite late in the, in the Genesis era and didn't sell too well and it was also quite expensive and that's the reason why these are not uh, very easy to find the good thing is it plays a whole lot of Genesis games nearly all of them and it also plays most Mega Drive games and most Japanese Mega Drive games so you can play a ton of games on this handheld and really good console games like every Sonic game, uh, Comic Zone, Ultra Beast, Moonwalker, a Michael Jackson game so you can imagine this is a really cool thing to have so the outer box it shows the Nomad, 16-bit portable color system, 500 plus Genesis games and here on the front you see uh, them playing um, Comic Zone, really cool but really hard uh, Mega Drive game side of the box shows not a lot different, just some other games they've been playing Echo Doll, Echo Tides of Time, Garfield, Beyond Oasis and Taz and Escape from Mars then the back of the box shows some more games, Sonic Knuckles, Com Comic Zone uh, Adventure of Batman and Robin, really cool game, picked it up recently and it tells you what the what the system can do it can also connect to your TV for full screen action you need an AV cable for that but that means it also doubles as a Genesis so it's not only a handheld Genesis but it's actually a full blown Genesis um, you have some extra peripherals for the system, it's a battery pack and you kind of need that to play on the go because uh, else you have to play on adapter and that's kind of hard to do in the car or, or something uh, controller just to play uh, play the games with the controller instead of the pad, the d-pad and the uh, buttons on the console itself six button arcade joystick, car adapter, AC adapter and TV hookups so the rest of the box doesn't show anything different than what you've already seen then the insides of the box. First of course you have a tray if you don't have the tray this is quite flimsy cardboard see how slim this is, this is not really thick cardboard so if you don't have this tray the console will be flapping around in your box and in no time your box will be damaged which is uh, really bad because this is quite an expensive console so it opens up and the first thing we see is some protective cover you need to remove this is basically a warning leaflet. Really cool to have that, doesn't really add much, but shows that this has been in very good condition because even this kind of stuff was uh, remained in the box. Then, the Nomad instruction manual. Of course, your warning for epilepsy. And this is not really a, a booklet, it's more like, it's more a poster. And that's strange, I usually like the booklet manuals better. So let's see if we can get some zooming done on that. So the machine face, the bottom, the back, how you hook it up to your TV, etc. How you can use the power pack, how you can use the controller, and how to connect it to the TV, etc. So basically every option of the Nomad is explained in the manual. Then the Nomad itself. It's quite big. See, this is my hand. I have a normal sized hand. Size 7 if you know the size of surgical, surgical gloves. And this is kind of bulky but it does fit well. It has some spaces here where you can put your fingers. So your hand is not really in an uncomfortable position. D-pad on the side bulky like usual with the Mega Drive slash Genesis controllers LCD screen here not too big but quality is quite good I don't have the adapter here at the moment so I can't show you right now but I'll make a video later on how this baby plays mode and the start button ABC XYZ so that's the six center buttons on the top there's the power button and the AC in this is where you enter your cartridges and it's a bigger slot so all Mega Drive versions fit. AV out for to your TV. Then on the bottom we have volume, headphones, controller so you can actually 
in some weird way play this with a controller but then you'd have to hold this or put this on a table so that's not really necessary it's only for when you can connect it to your TV brightness over here and then on the back just some information on the serial number etc and here you see these little hooks and the little connector here this is where you connect the battery pack which is basically just a plastic holder where you can add six batteries to play this on the go it makes it kind of bulky kind of heavy though but it's already quite bulky so it doesn't really matter so let's see if there's anything else in the box no there isn't thought there was maybe some more there but there isn't so that's the Sega Nomad uh, all in all a really cool thing if only Super Nintendo had a portable system that would be so amazing and then I don't mean those Taiwanese uh, fake third-party portable Super Nintendo NES and N64 systems no an official system um, so really cool collector's piece but also really cool to play um, if you want to see more videos check out the channel there's plenty of retro gaming going on there also like me on Facebook facebook.com slash drretromd so drretromd thanks for watching and see you next time bye bye